Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play The Alliance Alive. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, I'm going to swap out the Hand Axe for reasons. I honestly would probably do the same thing with some of the other characters, but she needs to do the healing, and this is like her main form of attack. And I still have no clue what the Silent Sniper really does. Besides just, you know, not be broken. That's a big uh, shield. Um, yeah, keep you with that. Still don't quite know what it is that we're dealing with, Buckler. But I suppose I could honestly just, you know, use things that. Ooh, hello. Hold up. Now I know that we're running for our lives, but I really need that that flatbread apparently. Okay, so. Interesting that the Water Devil doesn't seem to inhabit this area. I do see a new Moldsta though. Order Gems. I think I've only ever used one Order Gem this entire game so far. So far. Oh, I'm going to do a little Jello guy. Give him a knocking. Bonk. That bonk did zero damage. That's none too reassuring. We're still giving us some money though. So wait, I have a theory. Wonder if I can instigate another uh okay. You guys are gonna aim for the front first, aren't you? Okay. Hey, more HP. Bonk. I see. Hit you. Hit you. Go for the front. Hit you. Darn, oh, what's the point of that? Well, I want to say that if I try to aim for people in different rows, we'll activate awakenings. I want to say that. I don't know if that's the truth. Ooh, another treasure chest. Classic sword. Well, now I have to see. Classic Okay, where's the spin? Yes, big sword. Might have him use the big sword for a bit. That way is clearly the way out. So I just want to poke over here really quick and be all like, hey, a chaosium gym. Man, it's a good thing we cleared out these random encounters. That's so random, no mo. Can't be random when you're dead. All right, it's that door over there. Once we get through, it's clear sailing. Thank goodness. Again, hey, mate, you guys almost got away. But must be real frustrating now that the tables have turned, huh? It's just too bad for you guys. Face it, you guys are trapped like rats. See you guys shaking in your boots all scared and helpless? Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. No way. It's no use running. Doesn't matter what you try, it's over for you monkeys. Did you really think you'd get away with so many of us after you, huh? Che. Listen, Galil, Azura, the two of us owe a lot to Wyatt. There's nothing we won't do for him. You guys are family to me, even if I do mess with you a little too much sometimes. The heck are you talking about? Why are you saying that now? Look, you guys need to pick, pick up that noisy package from Silver Rain. Galil, Azura, that's your job now. It's all up to you two. Stop saying that, both of you. Relax, I'm not planning on dying. Does that sound like that's my style? We'll slow them down a bit and get the first chance we get. Hurry, there isn't much time. Wyatt believes in you, and we believe in you too. Now you now you know what to do. Run! Barbarossa, Renzo. 
Will, I'm counting on you. Uh. All right, let's go, Azura. Okay. You guys sure are dumb. Just how long can just the two of you stall us? Eh, who knows? No, won't know until we give it a try. Ah. Did he at least give us back our equipment? The equipment that they're not going to use for a while because they are now, like, captured or something? Dad, Renzo and Barbarossa. How could this have happened? Let's get in contact first with Silver Rain at the East Plateau. Lil. Let's go, Azura. We need to carry on for your old man and everyone's sake. Yeah, I guess we really don't have that much time to grieve. Now, if we go back, we'll get caught. Let's hurry to the North Cape Cave, where the Ark is. Well, I will say, I'm a little bit glad that I didn't end up finding the Chaosium guy, because I might have ended up purchasing something for one of those two, and, um, yeah. What was that? I bet Silver Rain just got here. Let's get there quick. At least quicker than these goddamn ghosts. Leave me alone. Hello. Hmm? Here they come. We're Galil and Azura, Azura from Night Ravens. We're Hellward and Max from Silver Rain. We came to deliver, to deliver the ornithometer that Renzo requested. So this vehicle is what Renzo meant by noisy package. You guys are supposed to go to the North Cape Cave, correct? You'll need this to get there. What are you guys planning on doing, though? You already heard about what happens to Valna. We have to save all our friends. The sooner the better. I get it, but you won't stand a chance without them if you just act without a plan. Luckily, we have an idea for what they're going to do next. Wyatt and everyone will most likely be taken to the Caged Realm. The Caged Realm? That's what's on the other side of the humongous wall. I don't know how the beast folk are getting inside, but I'm. it's supposed to be a place where they imprison humans. Everyone's on the other side of that wall. Several years ago, most of us in Silver Rain were sent over the wall when Balder, Balder, eh, Batter picked up on our activities. Some of us infiltrated by pretending to work with Batter, but then our communication with them was cut off. We stayed on this side to help defend the area, but now we're left in the dark. After what's left in, all that's left in Silver Rain right now are us two and a few others. And no idea. Since then, Night Ravens have been helping us out a lot. That's why we want to help free Wyatt and everyone too. The sooner the better. Yeah, we're on the same page as you guys. That's why we want you guys to plan ahead so you don't make any mistakes. That's how you do all that you can to save them. I get what you mean. By the way, is it really alright for us to borrow this ornithopter? Yeah, it's fine, but the Ornithopter can only get you from a higher location down to a lower one. You won't actually be able to use it to fly over that tall wall. We'll manage. In any case, we'll head to the North Cape Cave for now. Okay, don't push yourself too hard now. To reach the North Cape Cave, you'll have to fly over the mountain range up north and then get past the ravine. It'll probably be a tough journey. You'll find our base, the Tactics Guild Tower, yeah, on the way. Guild isn't active right now, but you should stop by to replenish yourselves. 
Thank you so much. We're going to sneak into the Zavalna and check on the city. We won't let Batter have his way. Sure not to die so we can meet again. Yay, Ornithopter. All it cost us was two pa was two team members. All right, let's head to the North Cape Cave at Azura. We'll get there and get the Ark. Once we do that, we might be able to reach the Cage Realm. Yeah. By the way, aren't you tired, Galil? You can stop by the Recon Guild Tower to rest for a little. I also don't mind heading over right away, though. We can now ride the Ornithopter. Press uh, press A while in flight to flap the Ornithopter's wings. Okay. Yeah. Just a uh, just quick little hop and skip and jump. That means I'm going to activate that accidentally every so often. Just fair warning. Uh, let's have it lead. I just want to double check. I'm, I'm going to guess that based on based on the fact that, you know, they didn't die. They might be coming back into the party at some point. If we don't have an interact, can you? okay. Ooh, sense boost. Did I already buy that? I did not. Wow. Okay. Sorry, that was sudden sniz. Buy one for you. Buy one for you. Buy one for you. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Now everyone has a little bit of healing. This is the what shop? Item shop. Alright. Um, don't need anything. Probably should have to at least rest. The fact that the inns are currently zero uh, money is a little alarming because it tells me that maybe later on they're going to be very hella expensive. Okay, so I need to get over the water. It's going to be a dangerous endeavor. I say dangerous, it's probably not that dangerous. Give you a knocking. Stop pouncing her. Uh, what was it this does? Enhancing ability sin. Ow. Oh, hey. There it is. Throwing axe. God, that was actually one of the first ones I ended up learning when doing the test runs of this game. Seeing if I was going to dig it or not. I had theorized that depending on how it is that you, uh, you fight shit, you're going to end up learning different skills. Fighting the long-range individuals is what made me think that eh, maybe the throwing axe is what we need for this. That said, uh, considering how much HP Linzo and Barbarossa had, I'm wondering whether or not I should do some grinding, if only just for that alone. Could be wrong, though. No one knows I don't mind myself a little bit of a grind. It's the jellyfish they've come for me. So yeah, now throwing axe, which is a long range attack. Ah, shrink down. Yes. I won't lie, that probably might 
This probably might end up one of my favorite ones to use. Even if they are short range. Because, I mean, it, it's literally just throwing the freaking axe. But, cool like that. Oh, it's the tactic skill tower that Hallward mentioned? Yeah, it has to be. Let's resupply here, there, before heading to the North Cape Cave. Not a terrible idea. That's weird. No one's here. Is everyone gone? Huh? Did you hear something from aboard the floor above just now? I mean, if I wanted to, I'd have already looted this place anyways. It's been a while since we've had any had a visitor. I'm Galil. This is Azura. I'm Sorinsen, the leader of Silver Rain. Wait, did you say Azura? Are you Maria's daughter? Yes, I am. Does that mean you're a member of the Night Ravens? Heard about the raid in Savannah. Is the uh, is White okay? It's a long story. Galil and Azura shared what happened so far. I see. That must have been very trying and painful for him. They have heard this, but none of the Silver Rain members who were taken to the Cage Drill have ever come back. Why it isn't one to give up so easily, though? Both Barbarossa and Rinzo are and my allies, too. All of them should still be alive. I believe that, too. Good. Don't lose hope, no matter what happens. That's because we're the last hope for our friends, aren't we? That's right. Now, I know it's not much, but if you're heading north... Heading, heading toward the North Cape Cave, you can rest and reply he, resupply here. Thank you. My scouts should be en route to the North Cape Cave as well. If you bump into them, please help them out if you can. Oh, what happened? Rest. Not that we need it. Don't think we do. You need a save, though. Bam, 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 bam. Come again. Is replenish shop? Yes, it is. Um, we're gonna buy another survival pack. Oh boy, wait, high quality surveyor staff. Is that actually better than the one that she's got? Shit. Uh, I don't want to sell any of the other stuff, save for the excess of spears that we have. I'm playing a tunics we could sell. Don't fully understand the purpose of the rainstone beyond... Oh no, not not understand the purpose of the rainstone, but you know what I mean. Uh, one serv- Yeah, okay, that is just straight up stronger. Might be a good idea to give to her. Yes, might be a good idea to give her a bigger, better, better staff. Even if it looks basically identical. Alright. Off we go to the north. Wonder if the North Cape Cave is past this mountain. Alright, Galil, let's fly over there with the Ornithopter. Hold on, Azura. Flying blindly won't get us anywhere. We'll have to fly from somewhere higher than that mountain. But there's no place higher than that mountain. Hey, calm down. There's lots of spots we can use as platforms. Let's fly from one place to another and find the highest point. Platform that can lead us somewhere higher, huh? Maybe over there? Alright, let's go. I love how that... I looked at the ghost. It looked at me. And we went, both went, uh... Davis. 
Even even by anime standards, that's a pretty damn big sword. Hey. <laughs> If we do get awakening once we uh, level some. Well, let me just double check something here. Yeah, okay. So I'm wondering too just how precise one needs to be with this. Um? Alright. I guess precision isn't so much the name of the game, so much as it's just, uh... Be a little careful, because depending on how and where you land, you just need to do it again. Oh, didn't mean to sense boost. That's fine. Big sword. Ooh, see that. Yes. The fact that you can do these little jumps, though, is actually pretty cool. Adds a, adds a little bit of uh, flying based depth to the game. I'll take you all on. Need the experience points anyways. Keep on doing the thing. Don't mean to do the thing. Straight edge. Switch to hard knock. Yup. Okay. I think that might actually be everything so far. The fact that they make the Chaosium Gems so easy to find is actually pretty great. Whew, we landed safely. Yeah, this place is pretty high. Is there a spot we might be able to fly to the other side? Hmm. How about over there? Yeah, that should be just high enough. Let's go. Okay, but I want that. Okay, but I won't be able to get that for the time being. And ha! Uh -huh. Gotta tap, gotta tap, gotta tap. Yeah. Seriously though, I do wonder when the hell the uh, stronger monsters are gonna, gonna be coming around. I'm not saying I'm sick of seeing not wolves, not bats, and whatnot, but kind of want to see something other than wolves and bats and whatnot. And weird little jellyfish. Alright, I think this is the highest point around here. Should be able to fly past that mountain with the ornithopter. Hey Gilil, could that be the North Cape Cave? Yeah, that has to be it. Alright, let's go. Angie jellyfish. Snail thing. I'm trying to learn other stuff. I just don't know the basis of learning some of this other stuff. Alright. So I know it's all like, eh, go to the North Cape Cave, but... I 
I want stuff. Actually, I wonder if I can reach the... Like... Is that the cave that they were talking about? Okay. Uh, yeah. This flying shit's actually pretty damn cool. I won't lie. Ain't too hard to do. Just requires a lot of rapid tapping. Rapid tapping. Rapid tapping. Rapid tapping. Anyways. Uh, I don't know. Theoretically, we could fly into the uh, place from there. Just need a good updraft is all. Oh, okay, they were talking about that cave over there. I'm referring to that cave over there. Wahaha. Exploration, exploration. Boy, I do love doing that. We're also going to say before we jump into here. There's a cave behind the waterfall. What an RPG staple. Well, hiya. I don't like the fact that this thing's called mommy. Whoa, this thing wants the antidote. Sure. Key. We may as well give it to him. Key, 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 key. Is it thanking us? Key. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a thing where we have to leave and come back. I mean, it doesn't seem to want to kill us, but it's not letting us pass, so that's a thing. Okay, so I was also just reading the thingy up top that said Ghoul's Den, and I'm like, oh. Really? Alright. Give it an antidote. Gonna hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Ooh, actually. Okay, I know the plot is pointing us that way. But. I want to see what's on this plateau over here. Bring it on. Oh, it's so cute. It's gonna murder us. <laughs> uh, they're short range right now, so hell rage. See if the active trap will do the trick. Stun it. Cool. Yeah, get that stun in. Not too shabby. So I don't think that there's much to these uh, random dudes that we keep on fighting. Okay, now I have to know what this is. The terrain seems favorable. You know, the ground is pretty solid in this area. Feels a little warm, too. Wonder if this is a place of power. Probably is. Should keep it in mind. For later in the plot. Obvs. Just obvs. I won't lie, this ornithopter shit is pretty cool. Ah, but we're not going to be able to go out there, there. Ooh, but there is a forest over here. 
Uh, give an RPG player a new tool. What do they do? They don't follow the plot. Instead, they find giant octopi and... All oh, snails, I guess. Giant snails is what those is. What those is? Now we can pretty much clear this lake. Thankfully. Man, though. Um, I won't lie. I'm kind of lamenting not spending a little bit of time off screen just doing uh, some grinding for Chaosium Gems. Well, okay. They obviously don't have a 100% chance of dropping the Chaosium Gems, but... Still. Alright, we'll get get to the North Cape Cave and then we'll call it an episode. Surely there's probably more stuff over there that we can uh, investigate. So we'll get over there first. Don't call me Shirley. Actually, is there anything? No, that we, we've been able to access that area before. See, now I'm just kind of hoping that whatever I did with the ghoul get in there, uh, I didn't just royally screw up by actually giving them an antidote. Because few things suck more in RPGs than doing what you think is needed to do, only it's not what you needed to do. Because of vagueness. For all I know, we had to fight the ghoul at the ghoul's den. I don't want to call it mommy. <laughs> Despite it being the thing's name. Uh, so I can already see how the ornithopter is going to be a little bit annoying to use. Like, ah, I missed the thing, or, oh, I needed to go to a different part of the thing. I see another place of power over here. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Whatever the hell those are used for. Speed run. I'ma fight it. Seize the initiative. I 100% thought that there was gonna be dragons. Actually, maybe they are. Nope, aquatic flying. There's a lot of things in this world that are aquatic and fly. Just pointing that out. And do 44 damage. Cease. That's alarming. I love how we got the initiative and yet we still didn't have our entire party going first. Need you more support. Oh god. Okay, this is fine. Cease killing us. Do I need to... How does one grind in this besides for HP and MP? Stargazy Pie. And 45 talent points. I guess that's nothing to shake a dead fish at. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, I guess we're going into a cave and probably getting our asses handed to us. Yay!
Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.